the irresistible force making her way to the ring getting ready to fight that girl that one and only jay Cargill. Oh, yes she, sir yes sir yes sir is a coming Ooh, this man, bro, bro, bro. Tonight is the night. It's the Friday night block party, man. We only got SmackDown for the night. There is no AEW, man. So, you know, we had to come on to talk to the people, go live and direct. You know what I'm saying? We got the vibes going right now. We got some shit to get off our chest. I do. You been drinking. I been drinking, bro. Man, look, first of all, we started off the night. My God, we started off the night with one of the women's queen of the ring qualifying matches. We got the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair, Tiffy Time, Tiffany Stratton. Bianca Belair ended up picking up the victory, even though she favored that knee. We had Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair having a little bit of talk backstage. And Jay trying to get in the head of the EST, but she said, don't you worry, baby. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Don't you worry. And then guess what, man? Following that, man, we got lying ass Solo Sokoa talking about he talked to the tribal chief all the time. And then we got that boy Tama Tonga back there acting like he on some of that wet, wet. Brother, but other than that, I got to talk to you about some shit. So let me go ahead. Let me let me, let me turn this music off real quick. His brother, we just got done with a contract signing with Cody Rhodes and Logan Paul. It was said that it was going to be, it was implied it was going to be title for title. The U.S. Championship, the WWE and uh, Universal Championship. For, uh, I kept Cody asking, Rowe, like, was this title for title? Even though they kept saying it, I kept asking because I didn't believe it. Bro, Cody Rose up here, man, giving his Martin Luther King speech. I will, for the first time in history of history, be a Grand Slam champion. I will climb the mountaintop of omnipotence, and I shall, and I will overcome. And much like the colonizer spirit of Logan Paul, he had to come shut it down for a brother. And he ripped up the contract. Uh, and he said, nope, and nope. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you say? You got to be quicker than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, not trying to shut down on another brother. <laughs> <laughs> Now I, know, now, I know a lot of y'all be like, man, Cody is quite pale. He ain't a brother. He's Cuban. They Spanish brothers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Espanol. 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 <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That's all right. Man. That's all right. Mano. Okay. Okay. Guess what? He's, hey, we celebrate Cinco de Mayo. He celebrate Juneteenth of Black History Month. You know, it's a trade for a trade. Okay. <laughs> we the back delegation <laughs> select <Cody Rose. laughs> hey, hey 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 look he bring the modellos and the coronas and all that good shit we bring the Henderson and the jack daniels that's how <laughs> oh shit man wow man wow wow but bro before we got on here before we got on here i'm like damn okay when they did that and cody signed the contract which apparently somehow i missed so thank you for, for bringing it to my attention uh <laughs> you know i was in my feelings I said, you know what, now that I think about it, there's no way that Logan Paul is going to lose to Cody Rhodes or lose his championship to Cody Rhodes before SummerSlam, considering all the stakes, all the all the sponsorships that WWE's got with Logan Paul, the money they're putting into him, and then they're coming to his quote-unquote hometown. And there's no way that Cody Rhodes is going to lose his belt. So now here we are. Dude, do you think that was the right decision, man? Do you think they should have just went on ahead? Do you think WWE had anything to lose by having Cody Rhodes beat Logan Paul for both? Mm, well, no, because people want to see Logan Paul lose. So, yeah. and, and considering his brother's going to be fighting Mike Tyson the same weekend. Uh, <laughs> like, like, yeah, how did y'all book that one? Uh, yeah, you, you, you. You lead for shenanigans to where Cody doesn't get a clean victory. So, you know, by that, Cody keeps his title. Logan doesn't lose his championship. And, you know, they can, I don't know. what I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the plan is for Logan. I don't know who's going to go after him. I don't know who's going to be that guy. I ain't going to lie. It could be L.A. Knight. It could be Carmelo Hayes. I'm going to throw Carmelo out there, man, because oh. they don't. I, I don't think they're revisiting the KO and Randy Orton aspect of it. That that's kind of kind of right, right. If you were going to do that, you you could have pulled the trigger. You didn't. Um, but with 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 some of the newer people, you got an opportunity to uh, throw some people at Logan Paul. 
that you wouldn't mind beating him and winning the championship. So I, you know, you know, but you know, we're months away from that. 